Hello, welcome to Marsh Mathematics and in this video I'm going to be looking at solving trig equations for Year 1 A-level Maths. Okay, right, in the previous video I solved a, quite a simple trig equation okay, using the graph method and the CAS method. Now, in this video I'm going to use both methods. I've got two questions here and they're slightly more difficult than the previous video and but I'm going to show you where, how you can use both methods and why I choose to use a particular method for its particular question okay now for the part for the first part question part a okay now I'm going to use the graph method for this one because it's tan now the reason is is that tan if you look at the graph it's got a period 180 degrees in other words that means that the solutions or the values repeat every 180 degrees so it's quite easy to use the graph in fact you don't even need the graph either it's just as long as you know how the graph works so we've got tan 3x equals 1 the first thing you do you'd find tan to the minus 1 of 1 and that's 45 degrees now what's what you have to be careful about here is the range they've given you for x there was a mistake in this question of they've put theta instead of x you have to find the range for 3x okay because if they're asking you to find solutions for tan 3x equals 1 but the range of is given in terms of x you need to find the range of values for 3x so you just times both sides of the inequality by 3 is 0 and 10 80 okay so that's really important that's the first thing they do is sometimes they they give you when you've got a multiple angle like this they give you the range for x and not for 3x so you've got to change that range okay so anyway we found the first value and remember this is called the principal value it's the it's the value your calculator would give you okay but this is the range of values this is the range of values that the, your calculator in red there would give you. So that's fine. So remember we've got to find values for 3x between 0 and 1080. So 3x is, can, can equal 45 degrees. So then we divide by 3 and gives us x is 15 degrees. Now the next value, this is why tan is nice and easy. We just keep adding or subtracting, depending on the range, 180 degrees because it's all in the positive direction we can just keep adding 180 degrees and this is what I've done I've had added 180 degrees but remember this is 3x okay and then we find it's 225 divide by 3 we get x is 75 then we add another 180 so it's 45 plus 360 we divide by 3 we get x equals 135 we add another 180 and 245 and we get 540 we get this answer divide by 3 get 195 and etc we do it again add another 180 and we get x is 255 and we keep going see how many values we're going to get well we keep going okay and we have another 180 and we get 900 add the 45 we get x is 315 now when we add another 180 there we're going to get out of range because this is greater than 1080. Remember our range at the top there? That's greater than 1080. So that is why there, up here, it's greater than that one. So we're out of range now. So we've got all our values that were in that range. Now, a way of checking this is when we list all our solution, we, we check this because remember that x has got to be between naught and 360 which it is and that's a good way of checking it because our original our original range was um, naught to 360 you see so that's one way of quickly checking that so I would prefer to use the graph method in this way well, you're not really using the graph method you're just using a property of the graph is that it's, it's got a period of 180 degrees so tan is a nice easy one but part B we're going to have a look at now I'm going to use the CAS method because I think the CAS method is is better for part B part B is more like an exam question because we've got a more complicated range 
okay and we've got cos 2x plus 40 degrees now let's just see how we do this I think that the cast method is superior when we've got something like this so this is the one we're looking at now okay now from the last video remember it's about finding this angle alpha we look at this and we say well we just say well alpha is equal to cos to the minus one of a half which is um, 60 degrees again right because that was where it was in previous question and this is not necessarily the principal value it's just the value that we're going to use in the cast diagram here okay because all our angles will be making will be meeting these like this line uh, the angle that uh, uh, that alpha makes with the x-axis okay so what we do we look at the range now we're gonna this range we need to change this range as well because there's another thing we need a range that's got of 2x plus 40 so what we do we'll times this by 2 and add 40 so that's going to be minus 360 plus 40 is minus 320 okay and then we need to change this one times it by 2 add 40 that's going to give us 400 so our range for this is between minus 320 and 400 this is why it's an exam question type I say it's an exam standard question so what we do we are going to find out what the values of um, we're going to find our values within this range okay now so what we do this isn't really alpha this is this okay this this value so the first the first thing we look at because cos alpha is positive it's half and we want cosine so we'll be looking for values in this quadrant and this quadrant remember this is all sine cos and tan are positive and for this value for this quadrant this is the first quadrant this is the fourth quadrant uh, only cosine is positive there so let's go in the positive direction this is the positive direction okay between naught and 400 and the first value we're going to come across obviously is going to be 60 degrees okay so we solve this equation now we have to solve this equation we get x equals 10 degrees now we can do that because cosine is positive in that first quadrant so and then we go all the way around we cannot use this one we cannot use this one we cannot use this one so we've come to the line where alpha makes an angle with the x-axis remember this is 60 degrees and so this angle all the way around here is 300 degrees so 2x plus 40 was equal to 300 we solve this equation and we get x is 130 so we've done it all in the positive direction now what we've got to do exactly the same I know it looks a bit messy here but I'll change color I'll change it to red we go backwards in this direction now the negative direction and we can go as far as minus 320 so we come to here and we come this far and we can use this angle okay because we've come to this line here now we can use this angle because cosine is positive in this quadrant okay and so that's minus 60 so 2x plus 40 is going to be equal to minus 60 that's one one of our angles okay we solve that we get x equals minus 50 and we can keep going round okay remember cosine's got to be and we've got to go all the way around back to here again where cosine is positive again remember cosine's got to be positive because this is a positive value a half and we go all the way around and that angle is minus 300 okay because remember alpha is 60 and we solve that equation and we get x is minus 170 so part b is more complicated but i think it's easier than using the graph method okay when we get a more complex uh, question like that